Okay, now let's have a look at the whole tone scale. Now the whole tone scale is also known as a symmetrical scale because the adjacent scale degrees are, um, are the same distance um, apart. So let's have a look at, uh, let's take say for example C. So what you do is you start on C and now all you do is you just think whole tones. So um, I'm, I'm sure that you guys just draw a piano as a, um, as a way to, to check things on your paper, like on the rough piece of paper. Just always draw a piano, that you actually have the piano in front of you to check that you work out the, the notes correctly. Okay, so now you just think in terms of whole tones. So I think C and then I have D. Then I have E. And then I will either have to have F sharp, okay, E to F sharp is whole tone, or you can also write a G flat if you like. Then I'm going to have G sharp or A flat. And then I am going to have um, <clears throat> my A or sharp or B flat. And then I'm going to have my C. Okay, so um, it doesn't matter whether you're going to write it with sharps or with flats, but just be consistent. If you're going to, to use sharps, just stick with sharps, okay? And then you just check, are these notes whole tones apart? C to D, yes, whole tone. D to E, whole tone. E to F sharp, whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, okay? Or from E to G flat is a whole tone, to A flat is a whole tone, and then to B flat is a whole tone ending on C. Okay, so it's uh, like, like with a pentatonic scale as well, and with a blues scale, you saw that the way that I write it out is sort of a way of checking if I end correctly on the tonic. Now I'm just going to, to write another um, whole tone scale um, for you that that you can see um, just to or to just demonstrate how the how the key signature actually works. Okay, so let me write it for you over here. So say for example they say write a whole tone scale. Um, so a whole tone. I'm just abbreviating whole tone scale on F. Okay? And when they say F, you think of F major. And when you think of F major, in terms of key signature, you think flats. Okay? Because F major has got a B flat in it. Uh, if they say um, a, um, a whole tone scale starting on G, okay? you think of the major and you think, okay, G major has got one sharp, F sharp. So you try and keep it then sharp you know all the accidentals that you're going to be using um, when working with the whole tone scale on g you use um, sharps as accidentals if your tonic is the tonic of a major that's got a flat as key signature you use flats okay so let's quickly see how it's going to look on f okay so i'm going to start on f and then i'm just thinking on my piano f to g is a whole tone G to A is a whole tone. A to B is a whole tone. Okay? And um, then B to C sharp. But remember now what I said. Because I'm thinking in terms of F major, which connects us to the B flat as key signature, I'm rather going to stick with flat. Okay? So I have B and now I'm going to have D flat. I'm going to have E flat and then I'm going to end on F okay so if this scale was written with key signature I'm just using F major key sig uh, signature which is a B flat and because there's now the B flat at the beginning it means that I will have to restore it over here and that's basically it Okay, so um, remember we either stick with sharps in the scale or we stick 
with floods depending on what the tonic is. Okay, and that is basically the whole tone scale for you.